Still a nation. I actually kind of find this thing quite funny. G'day, Still Nation. Welcome back to Steelers Nation Australia. The Kendrick Green experiment might not be over. However, the timeline of things has been it's been very interesting, to be very honest. Now, he's a third-round pick. We all know that uh, he started centre into his rookie year. Things kind of declined. Uh, Big Ben went on, was on his podcast, you know, talking about Green and how they took him there at that position. But it's been a funny and a bit of a wild ride over the last few weeks because he was stated as a bust or a villain before the fullback reps. Then once Kendy Green got the fullback reps, everyone started to love him again. You know, the big men, I did too, put my hand up. I was like, looks pretty good out there. The big man uh, running through the line, catching passes. And it's fun to see a massive guy that is 300 pounds carrying the football through the line. It's, it's fun to see. It really is. And I was like, can the Steelers use Kendrick Green at fullback? That could be a possibility. Then we get to, we get to the game that was just just happened a few days ago. And by the way, I've been working out my days. And I I thank you guys for listening to me about days and and how it's absolute rubbish. And it really is. It's not not a good streaming uh, platform. And also you guys out there tell me about that the NFL is now streaming on YouTube. Or Sunday tickets going to YouTube, something like that. So a lot of us are having problems. We hope it's only preseason problems and it doesn't affect the season. They got a month a month to figure this stuff out. And it's really frustrating because I went to yesterday to try and watch the full game. Uh, couldn't do so. So I had to go and watch the game in 40 minutes. But I did see a few things and and um, I do want to try and, you know, cover that maybe in another video talking about guys like uh, Corn Alexander, uh, McFarlane and, and that kind of stuff. I might do that today or the next day. There's just actually there's so much happening now. Now that football's back, it's like, what storyline do I want to choose? And today's one is I want to focus around Kendrick Green because it is quite, it's quite interesting to me how the fan base does this. And I'm a part of this. I'm a part of this, right? I I don't know if I ever called him out and said Kendrick Green was the worst or I, I don't want him to, hit him to be center. I'm normally pretty good with players like that. I'll give everyone a chance. But if you do start to play poorly, then something needs to be done about that. The Steelers did that. They played poorly. They went and got uh, uh, Mason Cole at center. And then you started seeing Kendy Green um, as a backup last year. And there wasn't really a role for him there. Then this year in in, in the training camp, he did the, the reps at, uh, at fullback. And we all got excited. We're like, man, this is insane. I can't wait to see this guy be used in the game. So he went from villain, I'd say villain, to hero, like Pittsburgh Steelers, law, hero, oh my goodness, can we use Green at fullback? It would be amazing, right? It'd be amazing. And then what happened on the game versus the Bucks? he turned back to villain, like just like that, that quick, because there were some really bad snaps uh, to Rudolph. I think he snapped the ball right to the right inside, about five yards back, and Rudolph missed it and it was all over the shop, and we went back third and third and 20. So he's gone from fullback to like, I can't wait to see him run the football. I imagine if Najee Harris was running behind uh, Kendrick Green or goal line set, we could use Green at, at, at the goal line, run people over. Darnell could be in the mix. Connor Haywood, we saw him have, have one carry. He could run the ball behind the, behind the big fella. Two, stuffing up yet again, and now he's the villain. However, though, because after today's camp, I did see this. Could he be back to hero? I actually don't know. So this is the fella, B. Wall, I'm pretty sure from the guy. I think he works for SteelerNation.com. Uh, so he's a he's a journalist or an insider there. He's he's at the camp pretty much every day. And he tweets a lot of stuff. And he says this, Green with a catch and stiff arm on Pierre. Says, they just put him in a motion and he caught one in the flat. Maybe this experiment is not done uh, over quite yet. Nice game. So are we back to hero? Are we back to that? The, fa- the failed experiment that probably is center or offensive lineman, is that done? Can the Steelers afford to keep a fullback on the roster? Do the Steelers even need a fullback on the roster? So, guys, let me know in the comments below what you think about this. You know, Kendrick Green being a villain, the the, the hero in training camp, back to villain, now possibly back to hero. I, I don't know what storyline is going to happen with this or where he may play. And also, does he even make the roster? You know, it will be kind of funny, though, to see, and I will end on this note. It'd be kind of funny to see if Kenny Green um, plays fullback versus the Bills at home. I think I think he would go back to that hero status. Yes, he probably can't play center. He's really a really bad backup center. 
There are other guys there. Ryan, Ryan McCollum can fill that void, right? Or somebody else. We go and sign someone. It doesn't matter. We've got Mason Cole and someone else is going to back up behind him. So possibly, would you keep Kendrick Green just for the fullback spot and maybe some depth on the O-line? You could do that, right? Because there could be a chance that uh, for the Bills game coming up in a few days' time, we're back to football. It's coming up in a week's time. That Green might play some snaps at fullback at home. I could see that to, to pump the crowd up. I really could see at the goal line, fullback, or he might be catching passes, you know? So don't count it out just yet, but I do find this timeline very interesting. Because to me, it was, the guy sucks, he's terrible. Oh, goodness, look at him there. He's a fullback. That's amazing. That's unbelievable. To, oh, he sucks, man. He can't play center. He's terrible. He, he stuck the ball over, over someone's head uh, or to the right-hand side to Rudolph. And then back to, oh, wow, he's catching passes. He could be cool. I don't know. Let me know, let me know what you guys think. I'll see you later.